Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a very cold and sunny Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Today I have a special blog hop for you. It is with the Stamping Society design team and we are featuring celebration products today. So you are going to get some fantastic ideas using those free items you can get until February 28th. I am going to be featuring the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper for a really cool fun fold. And also the In Bloom and the Pierced Bloom dies. Super easy and fun. I can't hardly wait to show this for you. It is going to be a big wow factor when you send a card like this to your friends and family. Let's flip the camera around and I'll tell you all about it and show you how to make this fun fold. And here's a close-up of the Paper Blooms 12x12 Designer Series Paper. This is free with your $50 order before the end of February. I love these big images. I think they're really pretty. We've also got an entire brochure filled with free items. So for every $50 that you order, you can get one of these items in here for free. There's stamp sets. There's paper. We've even got some bundles in here. This stamp set is free with a $100 order because it's a very large set. And you can get this bundle free with a $100 order. Stamp set and 12 by 12 designer series paper. Celebration is the happiest time of the year. So what we're going to make here is a fun fold, like I said, and oh my goodness, it looks highly complicated, but it really isn't. So I'm gonna go through my layers. I've got Rococo Rose here, and this is four and a quarter by eight and a half. We're gonna score this. I've got another piece here that's two and a half by four and a quarter. We're gonna do a little scoring on that. And then I have basic white that is four by four and a quarter. A piece that is one by three for a banner. And then the paper blooms. We've got a piece that is three quarters by four. Two and a half by two and a quarter, and also two and seven eighths by four. Okay, let's get our scoring in first. Okay, we're gonna bring our paper trimmer in here, and on our larger piece of cardstock, we're gonna score at a half an inch, one and a half, three and four. And you guys know that all of these dimensions and still photos can be found on my blog along with ingredient lists and shopping lists. So we've got that done. One half, one and a half, three and four. The smaller piece, the two and a half by four and a quarter, we're going to score at one half. On the long side, that's what I call this long side because we're putting that up against the board and then one and a half. So one half and one and a half. Now we're gonna bring in our tear and tape and on that little tab that's on both of these pieces, that half inch tab, we are going to add our tear and tape and we're gonna put it close to the fold. Don't you guys love tear and tape? I love this so much better than our old um, sticky strip from years ago where that backing was like so um, staticky that it just stuck to everything. Okay, next, we're going to burnish all the fold lines. And you're folding them in like this. Okay. Whoops, <laughs> the other way. You need this tape sticking outwards like this. Sorry about that. Oops. These are really gonna be burnished good. <laughs> this one is correct. So you're gonna look like this. Okay, we're gonna take this larger piece of designer series paper. This is, um, oops, that's the wrong one. Hang on. This one is two and seven eighths by four. We're gonna add that right here. So let's grab our multi-purpose liquid glue. This is my favorite adhesive. I like it because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room 
I can move things around a little bit if I don't get them laid down perfectly straight the first time. Now you've got one fold here and one fold here. We're gonna fold on that second fold, that second score line, and we're going to take off the tear and tape and now we're gonna leave this folded down and we're gonna stick it just like that, stick it, okay? And what you've created is a box here. Super easy so far, right? This one, on the same side you have the tear and tape, we are going to place this square. Now make sure you're lining this up before you stick it down because one way is gonna work and the other way is not. I, I felt like that should be part of a Dr. Seuss phrase. One way is going to work and the other one is not. Okay, then what we're going to do here is we are going to push this down flat again. We are going to line this piece up with the side and the bottom of your card. And while we're holding it in place, we're going to take off that backing and we're going to just pop this underneath just like that. And then this is what we've created. And so the, here comes the step fold, right? Because there's steps on here. Now, what about this thing flopping around? Well, we're going to just take a little bit of adhesive, hold this flat, hold this flat, stick that in place, and now you have your step fold card. Is that not so cool? I know. So easy too, right? Now remember, when you're done watching this video, you can go back, you can rewind it, you can stop it, you can pause it, you can follow right along with me to make your own. Just get all your pieces cut. Next, we're gonna do some Night of Navy ink and some Rococo Rose. And I've got my stamps here. Our stamp set is in bloom. And this is the first time I have used this to make these cards that I'm going to show you today. And I've got more color variations. <clears throat> these dies are awesome. There are, I think, hang on, I've got all my little bits and pieces. Yep, there are 25 different floral dies in here. Super fun set of dies. And they're all stitched. So that's really cool. It adds some amazing interest to your die cut pieces. These dies are called the Pierced Bloom dies. They are in a bundle with the In Bloom stamp set and when you order both of them together, you can get them separately, but when you order both of them together, you're going to get a 10% discount. So let me set my dies right over here. We're going to do just a touch of stamping. Now this other piece that we cut, this is the three quarter by four, we are going to fit it on here. Now you have to make sure that you're doing this the right way. Which way does this go? Does it go like this? No, it goes like this. So you wanna kind of fit it on here first and then you'll know where you need to stamp. So this piece is gonna go on here. I'm not gonna glue it on until I get my stamping done because if I happen to mess that up, I, can, I get a do-over, right? So I'm going to take my Night of Navy ink and the sentiment that says, Happy Birthday, you really are the best. We're going to stamp that right there. And then I've got this little flower so I can do some Rococo Rose flowers. And I just thought this would be a cute little touch. And then these teeny weeny little dots. I love those for the centers of these flowers. Yay! Pretty easy, right? But those flowers that you stamp next to your sentiment, I think make all the difference in making your card just so charming. Here goes this little strip. I always kind of like to pick it up and push it down, make sure I've got it even there. And then we're gonna trim off this teeny weeny little overhang. Now this part is gonna go on the back of our card. So I'm gonna put that on right now. And don't you love the way that strip, this is just the other side of the paper that I'm using on the front, that strip coordinates perfectly. I love that about our stuff. One last thing that we need to stamp is this little, this little banner. And this was one by three, and I'm gonna put it in my triple banner punch. I always like to look on the back to see where we're at. I'm gonna take that down just a little bit so I can, I can cut more off the end if I so choose. And we're going to put that right here and stamp, you are amazing on there. 
I love photopolymer because it's easy, right? You can see through it. It just makes your life so much easier. And we're going to take this, make sure I don't have any, hang on. I'm going to grab a baby wipe and wipe that blue off my fingers before I ruin my card. Who's done that? Over and over. <laughs> I'm a slow learner. I'm going to take this and put it right about here. I'm leaving a little bit of space over here so we can see that Rococo and I'm centering it on this panel right here. Okay, now we need to decorate this up. And I have die cut a bunch of little elements from the dies here, but I think I'm gonna need just a few more. I'm gonna bring them out and see what they're gonna look like. And I love just die cutting from a bunch of coordinating colors and seeing where I'm at. Is this gonna look good? Nah, I don't know. Is that color gonna be the color I want? I think I wanna go with some bold. Oh, look at this one. I already put this one together and that one will be perfect. And we can, we can maybe use this, some blue leaves. We've also got sea foam leaves. We've got some old olive leaves here. And you can see the detail. All of these dyes are stitched like that. Super, super charming, right? Okay, so I think what I want to do is I want this flower in Night of Navy. So I'm going to grab a scrap. Here we go. I did a Night of Navy and a Rococo Rose. And I think I'm going to like these. So I just added some glue, layered the little elements together. How cute is that, right? And then let's see, we have another, do we want another Navy on there? Or do we want to try and go with, well, I think that's kind of cute with the petal pink. Now that's from the little three flower die right here. I think we'll go with this one. We'll put that right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to add this. Uh, I don't know if I want to go with that leaf. Let's try this one. Let's go with the soft sea foam. I think that's going to show up. It's going to pop just a little bit more. I'm going to put some glue right here. I just did a dry fit with this so I knew where I should add my glue. That's perfect. Grabbing a dimensional. And I'm going to put my dimensional right on my card. That'll just make it a lot easier. And then I'm going to add that right here. Now, I'm glad I didn't glue this down yet because that, that kind of isn't the right place for it, right? I think I'm gonna put this flower right over here where you can see it better. And you just kind of play around with the colors and the different patterns. Like, there are a ton of floral dyes in here, plus this cute little frame. We've got some stems. We've got this bow in here. There are a gazillion different things we could do with this. Okay, last but not least. I have the Flowers for Every Season Ribbon Combo Pack. When you order that, you get all three of these, and these are three fabulous ribbon bolts. I'm going to bring out my bow jig. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can make yourself one. You just drill some holes in a piece of wood. The holes are one inch apart in the center, and then a half an inch on each side. I am looking for someone to make these for me that is local, and I'll let you guys know if that happens. But as of right now, as of the taping of this video, I do not have anybody local to make these for me, but it's coming, so just check back with me. And now I need a mini glue dot. Isn't that pretty? I love the twine because it has that silver metallic thread in it and it'll match Misty Moonlight and it'll also match the Seaside Spray that is also a color in here. So I'm just going to bring this in. And I don't want to cover up my words, so I'm kind of looking for placement here. Ooh, I think that's gonna be perfect. Look at how cute that is. Okay, last but not least, how about a little bling? Let's get some rhinestones on here. And I think 
right in the center of my flowers is the perfect place to go with those. I'll do one up here. There's our card. Is that not the cutest, most simple thing ever? Well, probably not the most simple thing, but I mean, it's really easy, right? I like to decorate my envelopes. So I am going to take a two and a half, hang on, I'm having some problems here. Take a two and a half inch by six inch piece of the designer series paper. And I am going to add glue to my envelope flap. And then I just glue that on here and trim off the excess using the flap as my guide. I love to do this to make my cards match. And let's be real, who isn't gonna love to see some colorful envelopes in their mailbox versus just the plain old, plain old? It's always nice to get a card versus a bill, right? But when it looks like this, that's fun, right? Now, this fits right in an envelope. You just push it down like that, it'll fit right in here. You wanna make sure when you're adding your little elements that they're not sticking over the side when you have it flat so that it'll fit in the envelope. And this is going to go to a very special friend who has a birthday coming up. Now, you wanna see the other colors that I made? This one is Rococo Rose. This one is Seaside Spray is my background. You can see the flowers are a little different color. This one is Petal Pink, and all of these are coordinating colors in the Designer Series paper, Paper Blooms, free with your $50 order. Now, the Stamping Society has a blog hop today where you're gonna find projects on everybody's blogs using celebration products. Celebration. Okay, so when you hop from blog to blog, you're gonna see all kinds of ideas with various celebration products out of this brochure. The other thing we have is an exclusive tutorial that I give as a gift for orders placed with me during the month of February. You will get an exclusive video tutorial with a written up project sheet, dimensions, um, it comes to you as a PDF file, so it's got links to the products that were used in each one of the projects and a video that will be seen no place else for the project than on the Stamping Society tutorial. So you get that free with your order from me. If you're going to place an order and your order is under $150, if you could please use this host code, that really helps me out. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have them. Here is my blog address. You can also click right up here to head over to my blog. That'll take you right to it. You're gonna find an online ordering button in the corner. Also, don't forget to click down here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. And last but not least, I have a brand new website. It's a membership website that is going to be filled with tons and tons of stamping tutorials, videos, and just a whole bunch of stamping fun. It's called Stamp Happy Academy. You're gonna find it at stamphappyacademy.ning.com. And it includes two different membership levels, um, basic membership, premium membership. If you head over there, it'll tell you all about it. Also, there is an optional add-on you get with the premium membership, which is three live classes from me, my friend Dina, and my friend Barb, three classes each month. All of our online classes are gonna be housed on there, and that's four every month with a value of $80 for your small membership fee. When you head over there, you're gonna to go to the top right corner. You're gonna click on Sign Up. You're going to create an account and then go over and look at the subscribe options to choose your membership level. Let me know if you have any questions about that. At least go check it out. It is available globally. You do not have to be in the U.S. to be able to participate in the Stamp Happy Academy. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of it to spend with me. Bye-bye.